that's a personal test, taste. I can understand people liking it. I just don't like uh, having to switch between tons of, uh, of tabs, usually. <coughs> One other uh, thing that is uh, rather interesting uh, is that uh, you can do something like uh, it's a bit twitchy that you can split your uh, and see your event sheet and your uh, your level at the same time. That's uh, I uh, I tried to use it, but uh, at some point you want to see all uh, of one part or all of the other. So I. Uh, and uh, the sad thing, maybe it can be changed. I didn't really report it as a bug, but if I, I think if I close construct2 and reopen, it won't uh, keep this uh, internal layout here. It will keep this part, but it won't keep this one. Uh, so uh, yeah, you would have to uh, each, each time uh, uh, redo the same thing, so it's a bit of a, a pain. For now, I will delete uh, this one and this one. Okay, <coughs> let me see. Thanks. Uh, let's see. Gray function can be called from different. Okay, I read that. Uh, okay, so function subloop that run. Uh, I don't think you can call a function an asynchronous thing. It's called in the flow. It's uh, it uh, when I call this, it will call as if I had this just uh, after. So uh, it's not really asynchronous. Mm. Yeah, uh, want me to? Uh, I will. Uh, I have time. I have. Uh, we have ten more minutes. I can show you a little bit more about function. Let's uh, make a new project. I will uh, put a, a text box here. Switch it to text area in case I want to uh, print many lines and. Uh, I will change the size. Okay, uh, maybe you could show some function. Yeah, yeah, I will do that now. So one thing I like to do with the text box is to create a print function. <coughs> oh, give me. I will close, close. I will save that. Save this one. Save, save, save. If I do that, it will save. Yeah. And we'll close this project, and this way I'm sure I'm on the good one. Okay, function rename in f mm, lowercase, and I often do a uh, on function print. I usually never write anything here because I can nicely collapse the function and forget about it. I usually do text box set text to self so the text box itself text and now the parameter of the function is accessed like that f is the name of the function object type if I hadn't renamed it I would have to write this you can call it whatever you want I call it f then dot then you have either call, param, param count, function value. Call is if, if you want to call a function in an expression. Here we want a parameter. We want the first parameter of the function. To access the first parameter, everything in C2 is zero based. So to access this parameter, you just have to type this. You will access the first parameter of the function. And I usually end up with a new line. So what does it do? Let's see. I will do a start of layout. I will run a loop for 10 times. And I will write a call function. I call the print function. 
and as a first parameter, parameter zero, I will write awesome sauce. And what happens? Did I forget anything? Write ten times awesome sauce. I use the print function usually to debug because it uh, adds the new line automatically, it uh, adds the text to the text box, so uh, I always have, uh, I always know what has been written before, etc. So that's how you use parameters. If you want to, uh, uh, I don't know, you want the, I talked earlier about a sign function, I will do a bit of, of math, but uh, it's uh, <coughs> it's not that complicated. If you want the sign of uh, of um, a number, you can just return the number itself, f dot param zero, divided by the number itself. But you take the absolute value of one of them. This way, if I do a minus 5, you have 5 divided by minus 5, you will get minus 1. You get the sign. The sign will return either 1 or minus 1. Oh, did I pronounce it uh, sign? <laughs> did I pronounce it uh, incorrectly? Yeah, it's not seen. I, I tend to to uh, say cine and not sign because I use sign for sign so uh, it may be confusing so yeah and th that's how I, uh, I return the sign and I do something for uh, if um, the parameter is zero and to access the parameter you can access it in a condition of the function plugin so if parameter zero equals zero. That's you to choose what it should be. <laughs> Mathematically, zero has no real sign, so you can either uh, return one. Sometimes it's useful to say that uh, the sign of zero is positive, so it's one, and sometimes you want to return just zero. Yeah, it's written cine, but it's written S I N E, but I think it's pronounced sign in English the same way as sign. But anyway, so that's a sign function, and we can print the, the result of the sign function this way. So, just to sum up, to call a function, you can use the call action. To create a function, you use the own name of the function to create a function. I'm not sure I say that. But so to create a function, you have to use the on function name, which is a trigger. You may have noticed. So it's outside the flow of, uh, of events, as uh, any function should be. <laughs> and um, that's one way to call a function. The other way to call a function and uh, the only way, no, it's not the only way, but the more easiest, to, the easiest way to call a function to get a value in return is to call it in an expression. And to do that, you do f.call. In parentheses, you take the name of the function as first parameter, and then the parameter you want to pass to the sign function as second parameter. It's a bit confusing, but it's uh, how it works. So I should have 10 times minus 1. Let's see. Like that. So here, it's the equivalent in some programming language, as this part is the equivalent as sign minus... You have to use this syntax because you have to somehow refer to the function plugin, then tell it 
which function you want to call and then pass the parameter. If you want another parameter, it's comma and you continue uh, the list here. That's how, and uh, then the return value will be passed in this function, etc. That's the cool thing about function. You can chain them. I could do something uh, totally crazy like call sign minus 42 times minus 1 so I should have 1 okay you can uh, really compose with function uh, but no <laughs> don't do that it's too crazy uh, okay so yeah um, there's other in the ACE of the function plugin you have so we use these ones we used uh, let me check we used the compare parameter we used the um, the on function trigger what we didn't use yet is um, let's see I will call the print function so this part doesn't change but in the expression I can for instance use this or this you can get the return value of the last call function for instance this thing can be written another way for instance by calling the sign function with the parameter 42 but then where does the return value goes here it's not assigned to anything it's uh, it's uh, gone it's gone yes but you can retrieve it by using the return value um, expression so it's work it's working so return value the return value expression I never use it I always uh, call my function inside an expression but if uh, you want to use this method which is totally okay you will have to get the return value this way and you will have to do it um, before the uh, any next call to another function I don't even know if it works uh, let's try that outside the, the event let's get rid of that oh <laughs> yeah it's wor it's working but as you can see when you loop 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 the next time you go back here uh, the return value will be will have nothing in it as you can see uh, it's constantly running 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 because I don't have anything here so the the action always 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 trigger and append the parameters to the text in the text box so you have infinite loop okay uh, so yeah uh, you have access to the return let's try this one another cool thing is the trigger trigger once while true I will s talk about it uh, a bit more next time but this way the the event will only trigger once as it said minus one so yeah if I uh, do I don't know mm -hmm, how to make it trigger another if I do this let's say okay once you use the parameter return value it's consumed in some way and you it will be written to zero afterward so yeah you have return value the last one we didn't really uh, use is the I could do something uh, parameter count just to show you and you can do something like when the function is called you can it's uh, stupid what I'm going to do but you can 
set parameter count to parent count. So here, since I give it one parameter, it will equal to one. That's uh, 